I will reach the stars. I don't know where my work will take me. I just follow my inner voice, my inner musical lead. I always try to be as open as possible and um, see what, what is there for me. I think you have to go and do it and not just think, yes, someday this is gonna happen. I think you have to go for it right now. When you got a trade that helps keep you alive. I'm a composer for film music, film, television. I am from Munich, Germany. Um, I moved to the United States about six years ago um, because I got sponsored from Christopher Young. He is a very good and very famous composer and I stayed at his composer's house. Um, for three months and then I met him and we talked and he was like oh I can sponsor you you can work for me and you can move here I worked on a couple of movies for him I worked on drag me to hell love happens when in Rome and what I'm working on right now is animation I think you have a lot of liberty in animation also with music much more than you have with um any with uh, action movies or so with animation you you can this scene can interpret it like this like this like you have much more options and i'm working on this animation for for kids right now um it's a science detective animation series it's very cute done it's very smart done it has depth i really and i can bring in so many different elements in my music i could probably not bring in with horror where i'm very but i have to stick with the genre um with animation there is much more freedom i started playing piano when i was six years old um i have a three year, year older brother and he played piano and i was like okay i always do what my brother did so he is playing this i want to play that too and um, that's how I started. And with 10 years, I won a nationwide piano competition in uh, Germany and I applied for the university. So I became a student for piano at the university when I was 13 years old. And yeah, that was like, okay, music is probably the one I go with in my life. So it's always there. I learned cello. I still play cello and I learned drums. I really wanted to figure out how drums are, the feeling um, that might be good for me. And I enjoy playing drums. Composing, I got accidentally. I, after I graduated with piano performance, I, I was always good in technical things. So I applied for a school from German television to become a sound mixer. And um, the good thing was is beside that, the education was paid is that I um, started working you all with a education you got a job and um, when I started working for television the first week I talked to someone and he was the head of the film music department and he was like do you want to work for me and that moment was like oh yes that's the, all the things come together um, because after I graduated with piano because I played so many hours piano in my life, I was at the point where like no more music. Like I don't want to have anything with music or with the technical thing. I, it's like playing 10 hours a day sometimes is um, nice, but it cannot be my life. And so I believe in this, you let things go. And if they are the right one for you, they come back. So I let the music go. And then it showed up totally unexpectedly and it made more sense now. I really had this, oh yeah, this is the way to go. This is my, this is where it leads me. Music is the most rewarding thing um, you can get. It's also the most healing thing. And it's um, a combination of, of the heart, of emotion and of the brain. And it's very, for me, it is the most healing thing. Yes, of course. When I leave my studio, I'm filled, I'm not empty or exhausted, I'm energized. I was thinking about it and um, uh, there is a kind of a dreamy um, which comes with it, someday I will.
maybe the most important thing I would give to, to young composers. Follow your inner voice. Um, be, don't, don't go with what others tell you. Just listen in there. There is the voice, the right voice telling you what to do. Someday I will. Someday I will. <laughs>